Hey, this is Vonda Evans from Keeping It Real. Today I want to talk to you about how to survive a breakup. Ooh, when I tell you a breakup is one of the hardest things that we go through emotionally. A breakup is a form of death, but unlike death, you know, when you when a person dies, um, you go to the funeral and you see them. There's, there's finality. You see, they're not breathing, they gone. So it helps you to grieve the loss. They're not here. If you call their phone, they're not gonna answer. You know that they're not at home. It's over, they're not here. Now, when a person breaks up with you, they're still living. When you call the phone, they answer. They still go to work. People still see them in a community. And so it's hard to have the finality because they're not dead. They're no longer with you. You know, you can't eat, you can't sleep. You're so emotional because you really miss what you had with them. You know, the good times, you know, you start to think about everything that you shared together and um, you miss it. For many women, the grief process is longer than it would be for some men. Uh, men, many times, they're hurting. They'll just start back out dating. Women won't. They're hurting. And so they think about the good times. They think about the things that you all shared together, the things that you all did. They reach out, you know, uh, to your family. You know, they, they just want some closure, finality, because it's like a death. Now, let me tell you what not to do. Do not call their family. Why? That's their family. That's their family and that's their friends. Even if they were wrong, their family and friends will not side with you. They're just not going to do that. So you are wasting your time. Nor are they going to reveal the confidences that he's told them. They're not going to do that. They're going to side with him. I don't care. So all of that calling their mama, calling their friend, trying to run into them and talk to them, is making you look silly. That is a grown person, a grown man. He made a decision. I don't want to be with you. You might be the best thing smoking. You might be fine as wine, got it going on, but for some reason, he don't want to be with you. You got to learn to accept people's decision. Even if you feel we were wonderful together, that is his decision as an individual to move on. Do not call his friends. Do not call his family. Do not get drunk and call his phone and text him out of control. He's not going to respond because he's made a decision. I don't want to be with you no more. I don't want us to be together. And what you're doing is spending time texting him. He's not going to respond because he moved on. And you look silly. Stop. Try the, the next thing you do. If y'all go to church together, you talk to the pastor. You know, they going to give you godly advice. But at the end of the day, they can't make that man come back. Stop trying to make him come back. Let it go. Leave his family and friends on. They his family and friends. My advice, block them. Because here's the situation. You got to heal. I'm not saying block him forever, but while you healing, don't be bothered with his family. Don't be bothered with his friends. That's his family and friends. Lead them people alone. If at night you got to hide your phone from yourself, put the phone in the car, lock the car, and go in the house. You are going to, there are forms of, like forms of, of grief, surprise. Oh, my goodness. Anger. Why? Frustration. Oh, I'm a... But ultimately, acceptance. 
And then there's, before that is denial. You just can't believe it. And it's up ultimately acceptance. You going to get over this, sis. Your mama, your daddy, your great-grandmama, your friend, somebody done died in your family, you got over it. Your problem is your ego. You can't say, oh, he left me. Guess what? Yeah, he's gone. He sure did. He made that decision. Because life goes on. And you can't emotionally get caught up in somebody's decision. If they make a decision, good or bad, listen, it might be people that come to my law firm. And they may say, I'm going to go to another lawyer. And I think I'm the best thing for them, but I got to respect their decision because that's their life. And no matter what you shared, no matter if y'all got children together, if y'all been together five years, five minutes, five months, 50 years, if that man make a decision, you got to let him go. With tears in your eyes and in your heart, you got to let him go. And you got to start rebuilding you. You can't think of all the things that to do that are detrimental. Drinking, taking pills, doing all of this. You got to heal you. The best thing that I say, get out there and exercise. Baby, I be walking. Walkie, 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 walk. Tire yourself out. Stop thinking about him so much. Give yourself five minutes to think of, oh, but all of that, waking up in the morning and thinking about him. Thinking about them all day till you go, girl, you're going to burn yourself out. And it's not worth it. And that man ain't been more thinking about you. He done moved on to another relationship. He may regret it or not, but he gone. Let him go. Focus on you. Heal you. If that means that you need to go get counseling, get that counseling. We about trying to help you. Whatever the reason that he made or decision he made, he gone. Good, bad, and different. Whether it was right or wrong, he gone. Let him go. Put him on block. Leave him alone. And let him deal with him so that you can heal. You have had an emotional scar. It's like a scar and somebody just rips off the scab. And you just bleeding. You got to heal. And it's going to take time. And what are you going to have to do? You got to stop being around things that are familiar. Going to places that you know he going to be at. Stop. Don't, don't, and Lord knows, don't just dive into dating. Well, he do it. I'm going to do it. You look, let me tell you something. You got to heal you. And being with another man and laying up with him and having sex with him or her ain't going to heal you. That's not going to heal you. It's only going to be a placebo, but it's not going to be a cure. And it's just going to make the pain worse, baby. That, that is a tunnel. You got to get through it so that you don't take that same pain and hurt into another relationship that is going to be positive and good for you. So what you need to do, you got to go through it. You have to go through that pain of loss. It is a season of loss and you have to go through it. I wish I could tell you it's something that you could take, you know, that will make you go away. Listen, I done gained all this weight and everything just coming up. But anyway, that's okay. It ain't nothing that you can do to take this pain away. You have to work through it because you will then be able to heal. And guess what? The thoughts won't come that much anymore. You ain't going to want to drink all the time. You ain't going to want to take the pills. You're going to start to heal. And you got to be able, and you got to pray. And you can't be around nobody that you, where y'all used to go, you know, this was our favorite dinner. We used to go to our favorite restaurant. Listen, anywhere you think he going, those are places you don't want to go. You don't want to go to no church where he going to be at. You don't want to go to no dining place where he going to be at. You don't want to go to no grocery store. Nothing. No contact, period. Okay? Everybody that know you, block, 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 block. You don't want to talk to none of them people. Okay, because you got to heal you mentally because mentally you bleeding and you don't see it because you covered up with your pretty face and you got your pretty clothes on. So you don't see the scar. You bleeding in here and you got to heal. And the way that you heal is self-care. Stop talking about it. The Bible says there's life and death in the power of the tongue. Every time that I talk about something, I'm giving life to it. Stop speaking on it. Give yourself five minutes a day. Okay, this is when you're going to occupy. The rest, you can't be there. Can't be there no more. 
Exercise. Liquor is for celebration. You in warfare. You in warfare against yourself. You versus you. And you got to win. You got to win. Those bad thoughts will try to destroy you. There's an old Indian saying that inside of us all is a good wolf and a bad wolf, and they're at war. And the grandson asked the grandfather, who will win? He said, the one you feed. Yeah, baby, he, he gone. He got a new boo. He done, you know, listen, he doing his thing, and you hurting. But you got to heal, and in time you will, because your ego is bruised. That's basically it. Because he wasn't all that anyway. And he ain't going to be the first and the last person to leave you. Life is like that, okay? It's a revolving door. People come in and people come out. They ain't permanent. Everything is temporary. That's just life, okay? And you got to understand it. Yeah, you thought he was going to be the one. Okay, he not. All right? He not the one. You got to move on. You have to heal you. And what you need to do is, in order to heal you, what you got to do? You got like a scab. You got to clean that area, you know, clean it. And then you got to put something on it. And what do you put on your mind when you're going through it? Prayer. Whatever your religious experience is, get into that. Uh, meditation. Yes, them nights going to be lonely. Yes, you're going to want to see them, touch them because you miss them. Put about 20 pillows in that bed and roll all around in that bed. And let me tell you something, you fight that night and you're going to ultimately fall asleep and you get up and you keep it moving. You get up, you go work out, you got to do that. And day in and day out, let me tell you something, in 30 days, you're going to be okay. But you can't destroy yourself emotionally or physically. You can't do that because he done gone on. He happy where he is and he was leaving you before he left you. See, he was moving away. You knew he was. You know what I'm saying? He had in his phone, come up missing, going on dates. You knew what was up. But in the law, we call it willful blindness. It's stuff that we don't want to see, but it exists. But that person has moved on, and you have to accept that, no matter how bad it hurts. Just like if Big Mama die, it's going to hurt you, but ain't nothing you can do about it. Ain't nothing you can do about it. You got to accept it, and you got to heal through it. And you got to move on. Because guess what? You got more life ahead of you than you do behind. You got to keep it going. You understand what I'm saying? Hey, I can't. At this point in life, we can't worry about no breakups. Okay, yeah, they gone. I'm sorry. I feel bad about it. Okay. Damn, I loved him. I thought this was going to be it. But guess what? It's not. You got to keep moving. Because all eyes on you, sis. You got to win. This has been Vonda Evans with Keeping It Real. You got to heal.